Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can access your student grades. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you link an account up to your student. So I'm just going to a Google page and I'm just typing in FWCS because I want to get to our main Fort Wayne Community Schools page. When I select the main page here, that's going to open up a site window that looks like this. As you browse down, scroll down through the page, you'll see an FWCS gradebook icon. Go ahead and select that. That's going to open up another window that gives us an option on whether we need a teacher gradebook or parent student gradebook. And we want to use the parent student gradebook for this demonstration. So go ahead and select that link there. That's going to take us to this window. Under this window, we still have to create the account to link to our student. So let's go here and we'll say create an account. And then we have to select this create an account tab down here as well. Once we do that, it's going to ask us some for some information on how to link up to our student. So within this first box, you're going to want to put your first name and then your last name. And then you're going to want to put an email address in so whatever notifications and correspondence that need to take back place back and forth, this will be the email that you'll put in that box. It'll ask you to re-enter that email to confirm it. And then you're going to have to create a desired username. So under this, just make sure that your username is unique. It's a unique PowerSchool identity. And then you're going to create a password for it. When you create a password, make sure that it is at least eight characters long. And then they're going to have you re-enter that password. And here's some information right here that talks about that, the character right here. Now, when we come down here to linking our students, it's going to ask us for some information like the student name, the access ID, and the access password. Then it's going to ask us what the relationship is, and then we can select that. You can add more than one student at this time. And um, some of the information that we need to have available to us is under the student access information, you should have received a return to learn letter that had this information available for, for you. And if not, just contact the school office and they'll be able to get you an access code and an access password so you can link your student up. So that was a tutorial on how you can access and link your students so you can gain access to the gradebook. Once you're done, then you'll be able to go back and sign in with your account.